Hey everybody, yes, we're here. It's Bob Lorenz, it's Ian Joy, and Ian, we have been doing this for about three and a half months, and guess what, man? This is it, as we get ready to transfer back to the Yes Network TV side of things, this is our last time together doing this, at least we think, right? Well, at least we think that's a great comment right there to finish <laughs> that opening line. Um, it's been an emotional time, and it, it really got me thinking, Bob, going back to when this all began, and because I'm such a stranger, I'm a bit weird, I do crazy things sometimes. <laughs> I kept the newspaper, this is the New York Times from March 12th, from when I was in New York last. Um, it was the day Major League Soccer was canceled, and it was the day I flew back to California and basically went into quarantine and have been there ever since. And I thought maybe I'll just sort of show you the headline on it. And this was pretty interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, they're limiting air travel because they believe there's a pandemic coming. Right, right. right. Wasn't quite a pandemic <laughs> just then on March 12th, but they believed there was a pandemic. And then this was the basketball game. You remember yeah, basketball wow. was canceled? Yep. Pretty crazy. A dark day for basketball as NCAA and, of course, the NBA suspended their season. And it got me pretty emotional because it took me back to when this all began and, and what our, our main goal was in doing this together. I mean, yeah. first and foremost, it was an honor to be able to do this with you. Right and back because at Because of man. your positivity, dude, but because of your energy, because of the iconic status you have in the sports world, for me, it was an absolute honor. And without you, this positive show that we've put out there wouldn't have been possible. So thank you, man. Thank you. You know, I feel the same way about you, as well as our super uber producer, Brielle Saracini. She, she's around somewhere. Can, can you oh, hear? Yeah. No. Anyway, uh, but it is amazing. And I think that's one of my biggest takeaways is as much fun as you and I have had doing this, bringing that positive message. Because as you mentioned, when the, the league started shutting down, it was like dominoes toppling. You know, it was one after the next after the next. It felt like everything was caving in. How do you eliminate that? You remind people you can go down that negative road, or you can go down that positive road. And to me, and I, I think you echo this, I think that's just so important. Well, it goes back to the network, people behind the scenes who are just so talented. Who came up with the name? Yes, we're here. I mean, what a great name <laughs> that is, right? Yeah, we haven't forgotten about you. We're here. All right. It took us a minute just to be able to come up with some ideas, but we really didn't waste too much time to put that content out there that was so desperately needed from people. So that creativity was just uh, next level. And then, of course, I, I absolutely applaud everyone who's at the network, in front of camera, behind camera, putting these together. This has been a hustle. And some of the interviews that our talent have done, some of the, the, the amazing pieces that have been put together, it's really what people desperately needed. And me and you, we came up with some good ones too. Yeah, you know what was fun was we had so much good content. We started packaging them into those nets and Yankees and the best of Yes, We're Here. And I just think about some of the roads you and I have gone down and you know, I think of the food we've talked about and, and things we've been cooking and the music. I mean, you turned us on to some great music that people that are friends of yours in the business. And I think that's enlightened people as well to maybe check out some things that they normally wouldn't. Yeah. And also gave people another idea of to who we are off the camera, right? Because this show is pretty much a look at our lives behind the scenes. You know, they're no longer getting that you enjoy and Bob Lorenz in front of camera getting ready for a Yankees game or an NYCFC game. It's basically, who are you guys? What are you all about? What do you love? Tell us about yourself. And, and that's what we, had, we did do. And, you know, I didn't realize that you had such a, a fantastic Paul McCartney accent. <laughs> I've got some bits of a Paul McCartney accent. <laughs> You know, I, I'm sort of like Dana Carvey doing Paul McCartney. Hey, Sir Paul. Yes, Sir Ian. I where's tell you. John, where's John? That, that is amazing. That is epic. And I would have loved, you know what I would have loved that? I would have loved that Paul McCartney commentary for my golf shot. In oh, yeah. Year. Should have done that. Now, we've seen you not only on the golf course, especially via your social media, especially Instagram, but also one of my favorite things was your challenge of the golf swing and you, on the first shot, making it, what, 45 feet away into that big glass, which we came to find out wasn't exactly true. <laughs> well, I made it into the glass, but the glass was a lot bigger than I actually looked on the camera. So that was, <laughs> that was an epic moment, and I knew I'd be able to fool everybody with it. It still took me about, I think it was about 25 shots to be able to get it in, which was quite epic. 
Um, but I mean, some of the challenges were just awesome. And then we had some many people introduced in and around us, you know, whether we were together or separately, you know, I really, it was amazing to me that we managed to get Nick Swisher involved yeah. in that. That was a memorable moment for me because of his energy and his vibe. I mean, he is really positive, pushed into one person, one human being. Yeah. And that, that whole interview and the, the baseball swing challenge was just excellent for me. I, you know, that was fun because we had to go out and actually I had to go get a tee. Yeah. I have a ball and a bat. We had to tape it. Of course, I taped mine a few times. I'm like, I don't like that swing. <laughs> and then Nick got to see him, and he actually broke it down and was like, you know what? You, you guys have pretty good swings, which I loved. And by the way, I loved you also because you edited yours like four shots together. The last shot of you swinging and knocking it over the fence in your backyard into what, 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 a canyon, right? I had it into the canyon, yeah. I mean, that was pretty cool. But that, that was just a blast for me, Bob. And, and another example of some of the cool stuff that we did do. And it was for people's pleasure because we know so many people in and around that New York area have been going through some tough times, still going through some tough times. Yeah. And without sports, we wanted to make sure that we gave them something to really look forward to. And uh, having Swish and our other guests and – and again, all the, the, the stuff that people put out there from the Yes Network was really impressive. And I've got to go back to it, Bob. I mean, you know, this has been three and a half months now. And, yeah. and finally, we've got sports almost back. It, it feels great. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I kind of started this off with the theme of look how far we've come in these three and a half months. And that's you. That's me. That's the people that watch this. The yes Network fans and Yankees fans. But it is a good feeling, right? We're right on the cusp of something very good with Major League Soccer, NBA, baseball about to restart. That we're mo It's just that feeling of moving forward. I think that's what people want to feel. They felt a little stagnated with quarantine. Now we're really moving forward. Absolutely. But let it be a warning that the sports coming back are going to be a little bit different, but at yeah. least they're coming back. And it is a step in the right direction. And even though we will continue to move forward, there may be that one little step back or a half step back before we take two forward. That's what we're doing. And it's great feeling for me and you to be able to get that recognition that we're going to be back in a studio pretty soon. We're going to be yeah. back in a booth calling games. We're going to be watching our sports, giving sports to our people, our viewers once again. That's what we live for. That's why we're so passionate about what we do. It's a great feeling. It's something to look forward to. And it doesn't matter whether you think we're there just yet. You still got to listen to all the protocols, wearing your mask and doing yeah. all sorts of things as possibly to help everyone. I think it's we've come so far, we don't want to go back. So we must make sure that we're, we're taking the right precaution and also enjoying what's coming your way because sports is absolutely coming back and it feels so good. Yeah, it does. I mean, the one thing, too, we talked about is ways to, for broadcasters and, and teams to get creative. I don't know if you read the story about the Oakland A's. They're considering selling seats. You can put your likeness in the seat, and then they'll have some things going on where – if your seat gets hit by a foul ball, they'll mail you a ball or that ball. I mean, I love that, right? It's like it's almost like a game show inside a baseball game. Well, amazing to think it was two and a half months ago, maybe two months ago, that, that we talked about that idea in Europe yeah. with uh, people putting their own picture on those seats in, yep. in European soccer games. The possibility of doing that in stadiums and arenas around the U.S. is, is pretty awesome. But this, again, goes back to it, Bob. The world that we once knew is now completely different. Yep. But we're also getting a new fresh start. You yep. know, if you feel like maybe you've made a mistake in life, this is your fresh beginning because we're yep. all on the same level now. We're all ready to just scrape and scrap our way back into life and, and really make something special of it. And that includes sports. So coming up with cool ideas like that and what you can do to make people happy, to make their life better when we've gone through something like we've just gone through, you know, forevermore. I love it so much. Yeah. And again, I got to go back to it because this has been a blast, Bob. And, yeah. and for me personally, I can't wait to give you a big hug, man, because you're a great man. And, and whatever you've done here with me has been a real pleasure for me. Oh, it has been an absolute I almost said an absolute joy. Oh my God. I didn't even, wasn't even intended, but yeah, geez, right. I wanted to wrap this up, not in a melancholy way because I love this woman's voice, but this is our last episode. So here we go. Oh, take it out. Little Barbara Streisand memories. All right, Ian. 
We'll see you on the East Coast. What a pleasure, my friend. I'll see you soon, and I can't wait to be there.